Hi guys, welcome to yet another amazing video on the CET and Comet K series, which is on creating the best study timetable for you. So without further ado, let's start with the video. Before that, let me tell you one important thing. So guys, do you know the people who get 10k rank and the people who get good rank are like below 500? They have very little difference and they do smart work over hard work. So that is why I am here today giving you the best timetable, dividing all work hours equally including your school hours so you can study, relax, enjoy at the same time. So without further ado, let's start the video. So guys, this is a timetable that I have created for you because weekdays are the time where you have schools. So from 9 to 3 is what I have kept the school time. Even if you have till 4.30 then no worries, we can adjust one hour here or there. But studying for 8 hours is a must. So you wake up around 6.30 and guys since you are giving a difficult exam you need to wake up early. Do some light exercise and meditation as it will help you clear your mind and keep you ready for the day. Then you can have breakfast from 7.30 to 8. You can watch your favorite show during that time for just for entertainment then uh, start your day with maths because your mind is very very fresh so you can revise some formulas and concepts then from 9 to 3 you go to school you can have lunch there only or uh, if you have any homework i advise it you to complete it within the school hour itself you come back home around 3 34 you relax have a snack and even you can take a small 30 minute nap if you have time from 3 30 to 4 then from 4 you start studying again do physics ka numericals uh, during this time then you can go for a short walk from 5 to 5 30 or play with your pet if you have one or see your see tv again then from 5 30 to 6 30 you have to learn some new concepts of chemistry and you can also make notes during this time uh, 6.30 is for again for your leisure. This is not required if you are coming back late from school. Then uh, you can practice math during the night time, have dinner and then review any schoolwork which is left if you couldn't complete it during the school hours. Then at 9.30 to 10 you can just read a light book or any formula you can revise or whatever you did during the day and then go to sleep. So this is for the week day timetable now let's go to the week and timetable weekend may you have more time so you have to make best utilization give at least eight hours during weekend same your routine starts from seven you have breakfast uh, take bath get ready because after taking bath if you study then it's your mind is fresh then you can go and start by brushing up physics for one hour then chemistry and then have a light snack break then from 11 to one again you study maths and at one you can take lunch break and you can leisure activity at the same time so merge these two in one hour itself that is from one to two then from two to three you can revise your weak areas wherever in the mock test when you give you find it difficult revise it then go to the three to four slot then you study physics take a break for half an hour take a short nap as it helps you to freshen your mind then study chemistry, maths for 2 hours. Then again go out, have walk and play some sports for example. Then 7 to 8 is when you can give your mock test. Which is very very important because it will help analyze your speed and accuracy. And then from 8 to 8.30 have dinner. Do light revision for the day at 9.30. Prepare for bed. Relax your eyes. Don't use phone during this time and just go to sleep. So guys, I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching it till the end. If it was informative to you, make sure you hit the like, share and subscribe button because I'm putting a lot of efforts to make these videos in between my exams just so that you get the best guidance for your CET and Comet K exams that are after 4 months. And I know that if you start preparing now onwards, then only you'll get a good rank. So I'm here to guide you at every step. If you have any doubts, you can put it in the comments below or even DM me on my Instagram. My Instagram is there on the channel description. So I have helped many people who have DM me. If you want any further doubts on any college, on what to select and how to even study, 
I will make sure to clear them out when and when possible. I'm also doing an internship right now, so I will be able to create more videos time to time every week. If you have any doubts or any particular video you want me to make, make sure you put it in the comments below way beforehand so I can shoot and post it on time. So with this, I will say bye and please share it with your friends as a little bit of return to my efforts. That will mean a lot to me. Okay, bye. See you guys. Until next time, this is Adjaja Singh signing off. Bye.